This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer, baby. The one, the only a father in the bathroom. Wow! You know, it's days like this where the market is red. And, you know, you got um, AMC down to like 21 bucks and change. And I think GameStop was something like 155 or whatever. It's days like this where I think of all the clickbait YouTubers out there. Remember, like, you know, like New York Angelo, you know, where he's like, you know, uh, the SEC is about to shut off their computers. You know, margin calls are coming and all these things. And, you know, buy the dips and financial news and Benji you know, and how high can AMC go behaze? You think about all these people. And, you know, this is where you have to give Teddy Zane respect in a way. At least Teddy Zane, one thing about him, he keeps it real. He keeps it real. And I keep it real. Okay. And I'm an entertainer. I always say to you over and over and over again, don't listen to me. Don't take any financial advice from me because primarily what do I do every day? I'm eating, I like, for instance, I'm going to go eat again today. I'm eating every day. I do food reviews. I, I perform on the piano because, see, to me, that's better. You understand? You might call me a clown. A lot of people say I offer nothing. This is what they say. You offer nothing to, to us. Okay, I offer nothing, right? But, you know, I, by me entertaining you, by me making you laugh, by, my, by, by me doing the testicle analysis or whatever it is I do, I feel that that offers more than what Lou does, Uncle Festa does, than what, you know, um, Benji does, than what New York Angelo does, than what, you know, uh, Finance News does. Because all they're doing is giving you false hope, which leads to you getting discouraged, which leads to you getting de depressed, which leads to you selling. See, you want to know why I'm not ever, I'm never going to sell my AMC. See, a lot of people got mad at me with the comment I made yesterday saying to buy GameStop, right? First of all, again, I'm not a financial planner. I, I have to keep saying this because I don't think you understand it. I'm not telling you, I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm an entertainer. I'm only telling you what I'm doing. You follow me? And what I'm telling you, in my opinion, what I think, what, what will work. So I'm buying GameStop, okay? It, it doesn't mean you have to do it. <laughs> it does, you don't have to do anything. You can do whatever you want to do because it's your money. But the point I'm trying to make is this, is the difference between me and everybody else is I'm at least saying I am an entertainer. Does Lou say that? Tell me one time Lou has a disclaimer. When when does Lou ever say, uh, listen, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm just an entertainer. This channel is purely for entertainment purposes only. Lou never says that, correct? Uncle Fester never says that. So you have to kind of question that. Why doesn't he say that? Because a lot of people take him very seriously. I don't want to be taken seriously. Like, you know, people say they, 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 think, they're, they think they're being like smart asses. You understand? They leave comments and they say, you know what? You're here to make us laugh. That's it. And sometimes I feel like telling them because I know they're being sarcastic. But the truth is, that's really what I'm here for. <laughs> like, he's, they're trying to hurt me. Like, they're trying to hurt my feelings. They're trying to insult me. You're not insulting me because that's what I am. I'm a clown. I'm an entertainer. I just want to keep all of you laughing, you know, motivated and basically enjoying me eat like a gavone. <laughs> like, look at all that food that guy is eating. Can you believe it? Until we squeeze. And we will. I know it's days like this when you feel very depressed and down and you're like, it's just, I can't take this no more. I can't take this corruption no more. But remember, Ryan Cohen would not own 9.1 million shares of GameStop. He, he's a billionaire. The guy turned into a billionaire. Let's be, he knows what he's doing. Okay. You understand? Adam and Aaron, I don't know what to say about that guy anymore. He just doesn't care about anybody except himself. That's it. I really don't know what to say today about him anymore. I really don't. He's definitely not. He definitely does not have the side of the apes. He's not in our corner. You follow me? He's no Mickey. You follow me? He's no, like, you know, Rocky had Mickey. You don't have Mike Tyson had Customato. He's no Customato. All right. He's in it for himself. The AMC insiders are in it for themselves. But you see, Ryan Cohen really has the back of the GameStop investors. And that's another thing that really kind of encouraged me to want to buy GameStop because I'm not seeing it with AMC. Okay. But will I sell my AMC? No. First of all, let me tell you two reasons why I'm not going to sell my AMC. 
One is because I'm down a lot of money, right? You don't sell when you're down, okay? Number two is because I know, I already know, look, you could be discouraged all you want. I know that GameStop is going to squeeze first. And I know it's going to take AMC with it for a piggyback ride. It's just a matter of having patience. It's just a matter of time. I have a family. I have a house. I have great, delicious food every day. I have, I have everything I need. I have my dogs, my mom. I mean, what else do I need? I have everything I need. That's it. So if this is going to take another year, so be it. If this is going to take another two years, so be it. Whatever it's going to take. And I'm not saying to you it's going to take that long because it could happen tomorrow, the Moaz. I don't have a crystal ball. But what I'm saying to you is this. I prefer just being an entertainer. You see what I'm saying? And th this is the reason why. Because all these apes who are wise guys, you know, and they try to make me get upset. You know, they're wise girls. You know, they'll say, why don't you do DD, Ape Father? Why don't you provide us with information? You know why? Because I don't want to let you down. That's why. That's it. I don't want to let you down. I don't want to say something to you and then it doesn't come true. And then you're all going to like cry and point your fingers at me. I listen to you. Okay. I don't want to do that. Okay. I just want to make you laugh. I want to keep you motivated. And I just want to keep you in these plays. Because believe it or not, they're going to squeeze. I know right now on days like this, it seems like it's not, it seems like a tease, but the squeeze is going to be mighty delicious, baby. And you just have to have patience. Just like, I really think that that's one of the most important songs that was ever written by, uh, by Guns N' Roses, by Axl Road. All you need is just a little patience. That's all you need. Believe me, Ryan Cohen knows what he's doing. And I know GameStop will squeeze. And I know it's going to take AMC with it. So I'm not selling my GameStop. I'm not selling my AMC. I'm going to listen to Axl Rose and I'm going to have patience. And, and throughout having patience, I'm going to stay in my happy place. I'm not going to let red days get me down. I'm going to go out and have a beautiful dinner. I'm going to, I'm going to live, see this shirt? I'm going to live like a champion. That's it. Until I become a champion. And that's my game plan.